Okay, so as I said um, in the discussion that uh, uh, there is an equivalence, there is a way to prove that the R cross P definition and the I omega definition of angular momentum, they're both equivalent. Uh, equivalent yung dalawang definitions na yan. Ngayon, ang tanong dito is paano natin ipapakita? I've shown you earlier a heuristic way to, to think of that way. It's not a formal proof kasi medyo may konting butas yun. Pwede mong butasan yung proof na yun by saying that um, uh, there's a way to, to, to disprove that statement. But um, I've shown you only an illustration that, okay, these are two are equivalent definitions. Ngayon, Paano yung mas formal na way para improve yan? Okay. Paano natin na gawin? Sige. Let's go to this. So, okay. So, how do we relate the two expressions we have for L? So, we have R cross P definition and I omega definition. So, remember, um, recall um, that for a rigid body, the rigid body, um, since it is composed of different uh, particles, you can treat of it as composition of different particles. Okay. Composition of different particles. So, then, um, I can think of the total angular momentum of this rigid body as the sum of the angular momenta of these different particles here. So um, I can write L as some summation over I of Ri um, cross Pi. Okay? And then I can write this one also as summation over I, Mi, Ri cross Pi. Now, okay. Um, before we go to, so ganyan na itsura niya, di ba? R cross B, ano na naman yan? So remember, okay, if a, for a rigid body, uh, what is the direction of the angular velocity? The direction of the angular velocity is strictly speaking, either out of the paper or into the paper. So it is perpendicular to the direction of the rotation. Pero when we, remember, pwede mong isipin to. Okay, so I have, um, for example, I have a particle here. And the direction of the linear velocity or tangential velocity is, of course, tangential to the particle. So, pwede mong isipin ngayon yan na if R denotes the, this, the position from the axis of rotation towards the position of the particle, let's say that's R. Um, di ata masyadong malaki dito, pero sige. Lakihan ko para kita. Okay, so um, remember, the direction of the angular velocity is either out of the paper or into the paper. That is, it is perpendicular to the direction of the of the motion of the object huh? it's perpendicular to the planar motion okay now let's say we have a particle here and that particle here is moving with some therefore with some linear velocity v i vi there so um that vi here is tangential remember we have, we have a relationship between the tangential velocity and the angular velocity pero ang tinitigan ng natin usually ay yung speed so v is r omega simple as that but if you look at the directions, uh, the direction of, um, so diba, may V cos R omega ka. So involved dito, yung distance from the axis of rotation. And therefore, this distance can be generalized as a vector, as a position vector R. So this is the position vector R here. Okay? Okay? Diba? So in that case, pwede mong isipin ngayon na um, if R and V are perpendicular to each other, well, actually, the perpendicular one is R and omega. Kasi remember, R cross V out of the paper si omega. Out of the paper yan. Diba? And kung papasinin mo, yung isa, palabas, yung isa tangential. And remember, radial and tangential components are perpendicular to each other. Also, R and omega are perpendicular to each other. Kasi there, and hence, we can think of this as a cross product as well. Yun yung gusto kong sabihin, that the this expression V's R omega is just true if we're talking of the magnitudes. If we're talking of the vectors themselves, it's actually um, omega uh, V equals omega cross R. That's the actual definition of my linear velocity in terms of uh, the position vector from the axis of rotation and the angular velocity vector. So I can substitute that expression here and say that I have therefore oh, summation over I M I R I cross uh, omega cross R. Okay? Ang tawag dito ay triple. This is an example of a triple vector product. Kung napansin nyo, may tatlo kang vectors dyan. And dalawang cross products. And it turns out, um, I will not prove this, that um, note that A cross B cross C um, merong tinatawag na back-hub rule, back um, 
sa vector uh, sa vector uh, algebra, if you have a triple vector product, I can write this as b quantity a dotted with c. So the dot product of a and c multiplied by the vector b. So because this is a scalar now, minus c um, times the dot product of a and b. So cash a back cab because back then cab, back cab rule or the rule on the triple vector product. Okay, I will use that rule in this equation. So let's say this is equation one, and this is equation two. And I say that L is just equal to what? Summation over I, MI, multiplied by an expression. So I write this as A, B, and C. So B, omega, multiplied by A, dot C, RI. So this is omega cross RI, dot with RI. Minus C, Ri multiplied by the dot product of A, Ri dotted with omega. Okay, now what is R dot omega? Remember, omega is out of the paper or into the paper in our sense. So, and R is always in the plane of the rotation. Therefore, by definition, they should be perpendicular to each other. And therefore, their dot product should vanish. And hence, the second term here should vanish. Okay? And from here, but what's ri dot ri? This is just the square, ri squared. So, and hence, I have summation over i, mi, ri squared, omega vector. And thus, but what is the summation here? Since omega now is now independent of the particle and it's only dependent on the type of the rigid body. And hence, we have shown here that this is the summation here can be written as summation over i, mi, ri squared times omega vector. And this is just equal to i omega vector. Hence, we have shown that this definition here is equal to this definition here. Okay? Ganun yung formal proof niya. Kaya hindi ko siya nilagay sa main lecture because you need um, two, different, two unique or two new concepts. That is, the, the velocity vector is actually a cross product between the angular velocity vector and the position vector and the, the backup rule for triple cross products. Kasi hindi natin discuss yan sa, sa usual lecture. Okay, did that clear um, your uh, the reasoning why R cross P is equivalent to I omega? I hope it may, uh, uh, it's now clear to you that yes, they are equivalent. These two definitions here are equivalent definitions. Okay? May tanong ba? Wala? Wala? Okay, thank you. Okay.